Hello, let's talk about being a high school science teacher. Indeed.com describes a science teacher as someone who educates high school students to prepare them for post-secondary school or the workforce. Um, their main duties include planning and instructing lessons, assessing and supporting students' strengths and weaknesses, and adapting and enforcing classroom policies. Um, now, a couple ways that an individual could volunteer to know whether or not teaching science at the high school level is for them would include job shadowing in an area of science, uh, whether that is in a laboratory setting or a medical field in some capacity, as well as different organizations volunteering with children to know that working with children is the place for you. For example, there is an SOS center in Milwaukee, which is an after-school program where individuals can volunteer and work with students in urban areas in Milwaukee. A few programs that are excellent for um, someone who is looking to enter the career field of teaching would be the Center for Urban Teaching, which train teachers one-on-one -on -one, um, in different skills such as um, classroom management as well as structuring lessons in an appropriate manner. Um, NJCTL is an online platform which is the Center for Teaching and Learning and it acts as great professional development in the particular area of science for those looking for any type of professional development in that way as well as the National Education Association, which has a peer mentorship program for teachers, um, where a veteran teacher and a newer teacher, or anyone really looking to improve their craft can go and learn and grow from one another. Um, some of the requirements needed to complete the program of study at GCU for a master's of science and chemistry with an education emphasis include 24 chemistry credits and eight education credits. Um, that workload would include weekly classwork that sums up reading, academic writing, conducting research, and participating in discussions surrounding chemistry and education. So all of those um, aspects of this program are extremely beneficial to someone looking to pursue higher education in um, sciences, whether that is instruction or beyond. Um, in particular, this job description of a high school science teacher involves a lot of thinking on your feet and collaboration. So, in working with some of the aforementioned professional organizations, as well as the courses provided in this uh, graduate program, will benefit one greatly when looking to pursue this um, career choice. For example, a course of the concepts of inorganic chemistry, as well as current topics in chemistry and effective pedagogy for higher education are three courses that will be pursued to greatly help me as I continue on in this path um, of improving my skills of teaching and expanding my content knowledge. Um, I will be applying these things every day with my students and using them to develop curriculum that is at a higher level that prepares my students for the real world in terms of scientific literacy and um, high success rates in the post-secondary level of science coursework. Um, in order to ensure that these skills are gained from my courses, I will be sure to participate in class discussions and make note of anything that I might not be understanding so that I can um, ask questions to my professor or amongst my other classmates. Um, to not only benefit myself, but those around me, and to grow. And in having those conversations, that grants opportunities for networking and growth, where I might be able to gain insights and peers in the field of science that might act as a speaker for my future students or someone who can engage with the content and um, children in a more meaningful way. Um, as Christians, the topic of science is something that's typically hard to bridge the gap between. So as being a science teacher, that is a goal of mine to work in a Christian setting so that all of these things may come true.